Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a haul video. I'm going to be showing you guys new fragrances that are in my collection at the moment. Before I get started with today's video, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on all things girly, especially videos on smelling good. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. And with that said if you would like to know what I will be featuring in today's haul then just keep on watching so today's video was this close to not happening because I am going through the worst allergies of my life like I don't know what happened what switched in my body I've always gotten allergies here when I used to come for summer but these allergies are like on another level i literally have q-tips and they're all like nasty because i have to keep on like putting it right in here because my eyes do not stop watering and it's just so messed up like that inner corner is just all messed up if you were to look if you were to look at it up close it's just not cute but I pretty much got together today with pink because I am going to be doing a Valentine's Day theme video after this one. And I'm hoping that the makeup can stay at least just for the next video. But yeah, it's been a struggle today. I've been getting ready for like two hours and I just cannot. It's like my eye is just burning right now. <laughs> But anyways, I'm very, very excited to be doing today's video. It's pretty much going to be a PR unboxing. I hope that you guys are okay with that. It's pretty much a perfume haul. I just did not purchase these fragrances, but you guys know that I am super honest with you guys. And even though they have been sent to me and I'm super grateful for the companies who have trusted in me to send these products to me, I'm always honest with you guys. So yeah, today's video is just going to be me going over the new items that I have received. That way you know what to look out for on my channel, the reviews that are going to be coming up, or if you would like to hear more about a specific fragrance, you can definitely leave a comment below and let me know. That way I know what you guys want to see, what you're interested in, but I do have quite a few boxes here. These are all packages that I have received, PR packages, I have a few more. And I also have one that I want to begin with because this company is just always so sweet to me and I just wanna dedicate at least two minutes to them because I do use their products every day. Liquid IV, so we have this really cute package. Liquid IV are these little packets that you put into your water and they help you to hydrate faster. They have electrolytes. They have some that are for your immune system. They have some for energy. They have just regular hydration ones. And I just received this one, which is kind of hard to show you guys on camera, but this one is their hydration multiplier and it is their non-alcoholic electrolyte drink mix. I already had one this pack right here has the cucumber mojito and the smoky mezcal paloma. I do need to actually make them like with ice and all of that because the day that I made these, I just put it in my water and drank it and it was really good. But here it says the science of cellular transport technology is an optimal ratio of nutrients that deliver hydration rapidly to your body, hydrating you two to 2.5 times faster and more efficiently than water alone. And then it says why liquid IV? So it has two to two times faster hydration than water alone, three times the electrolytes, five essential vitamins, which are B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C, and it's great taste. So they did go ahead and send me these over so that I can try them out. I'm super grateful for Liquid IV, and I'm also going to be putting on the screen my code that I have with them so that you can receive 20% off. I'm gonna put it on the screen because I always forget my codes, but I am going to be putting all of the information in the description box as well as on the screen, and I love these just for when I need some hydration. So thank you so much Liquid IV for sending that over. That was super sweet. All right, so the first fragrance that I want to share with you guys, and I was just so in shock when I received this email because I was not expecting this. You guys know that I have been buying fragrances in the travel size so that I can one, save money because I have been spending a lot of money on full size bottles and I have been decluttering a lot because I am going to be moving. So just spending on a full bottle right now, is just doesn't really make too much sense. So I have been purchasing the travel size bottles. 
And I spoke about Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. I did a review for the fragrance. I fell in love with that fragrance. I just love it so, so much. I think it's perfect for upcoming spring. It's very feminine and girly and just beautiful. And they reached out to me and they wanted to send over a full size bottle, you guys, which when I read the email, I swear, I just, I didn't even know how to respond because sometimes when you're doing reviews, you don't really realize who's watching. And I just do this because I'm passionate about it. I find it so much fun. And then all of a sudden you kind of realize like, wow, the house actually saw my thoughts, my review. Those things kind of just, wow, they just shocked me. But they did send over a full-size bottle of their latest release and this is sparkling sugar here is the beautiful packaging for this fragrance it is full of florals the packaging is just so beautiful it makes me think of spring it just puts me in the spring mood which i am literally just kind of like switching off of winter mode and i'm just ready for spring ready for color ready for fresh fruity floral beautiful fragrances so this just came at the right time and i'm not going to go into detail about the fragrances because i already have a review on this fragrance on my channel so if you're curious about a detailed review i'm going to post the review for this fragrance in the description box but here is the full bottle and this fragrance right here is just so feminine beautiful to me it's just soft i get rose in here i get a bright refreshing feeling as well so it's just the perfect type of fragrance for springtime for wedding season for going to a wedding for a birthday for a dinner for just Anything that you want to feel super pretty, feminine, floral, just flirty, this is the fragrance that you want to try out. It's so beautiful. So far, I think it is my favorite fragrance that I have tried from the new releases. It just, I love it so much. So that is Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. And Next up, I have a package from Twisted Lily and they were just so sweet. I actually have two packages here from them. But in this first package, I am just so excited to show you guys what I'm going to be trying out and I'm going to be giving you my thoughts. Did it work? Did it not work? But this is new to me. So they sent over a fragrance primer i don't know if you guys have heard of this before but this is from house of bow and this is the first product that i try from the house i have never tried the fragrances i'm dying to get my nose on some of them but this is a primer it's a nourishing perfume primer and the bottle is so gorgeous so you're supposed to put this on before you put on your fragrance and it's supposed to help it perform better so here it says an innovative perfume primer formula that hydrates, nourishes, and preps your skin for the ultimate longer lasting perfume experience. And it gives you directions on how to use it. So you're supposed to apply the nourishing perfume primer on the same skin areas that you would normally apply your fragrance. Step two is allow for the primer to dry on the skin for 30 seconds to activate its nourishing properties and prep your skin before fragrance application. And then step three would be to go ahead and spray whatever fragrance it is that you're using and isn't this bottle just the cutest bottle ever i love it i love it so much i feel like this on the vanity is just so so cute and just perfect and i did spray it already on my skin and when you first i mean first off look at this mister gorgeous and when you spray it on your skin, it literally doesn't smell like anything. I feel like I get a tiny bit of like, like a musky scent to it, but it's super, super subdued. It's almost like a skin scent. And then it pretty much just disappears and it does leave your skin really hydrated. And I am going to let this dry and I'm going to spray a fragrance over it once it's dry, just to kind of get like a first impression, but I'm going to give it a full wear. Maybe I'll feature this in one of my vlogs while I'm doing it and then I'll also give you guys a review letting you guys know how this worked out for me but I'm very very excited about this because you guys know that perfumes do not last on me I have dry skin and I have to always be on top of my skin with moisturizers with body creams with oils and I didn't even know that we had these types of products so 
I'm super excited to try this out. Thank you so much, Twisted Lily, for sending this over. And then in this package, they also sent me a bunch of samples from Nasomato, which is another house that I have not tried. And I'm going to be doing a sample with me video on this house. Not sure if many of you guys are familiar with this house, but I do have four fragrances to try out. So I'm very excited about that. Next up in the next box, we have this super cute Valentine's Day package from Twisted Lily. And here I have two fragrances that I'm going to be featuring in a Valentine's Day video. So I already smelled these and I love both of them. So I'm super, super excited. And these two fragrances are by Montal. You guys know that I don't own too many Montal fragrances. And the one fragrance that I did have from Montal was the, I'm not sure if it's called Vanilla Cake or something like that, but it was a super sweet vanilla fragrance, but there was this synthetic note in there that I couldn't really get over. So I was a little scared that that was going to be in these as well. And so far I'm not getting that note in these. So the first one that I have is Crazy In Love. This is the reason why I'm dressed like this today, you guys, because these bottles just inspired me big time. They are just so gorgeous. I'm not going to get into notes today too much because I do want to talk more about these in a dedicated video. Okay, so they come in these little pouches inside of the box. And here is the first one. This is what inspired today's look because these bottles, oh my God, you guys, look at this bottle. How gorgeous is this? It's pretty much like the color of the top that I'm wearing. I love the design of the bottle. I think it's so gorgeous. It says crazy in love towards the bottom. These are 3.4 ounces. And out of the two, crazy in love is definitely my favorite. It's just so easy to wear in my opinion. There's rose in here, but then there's something else that just gives it like this wash of just like something that makes it a little more airy, almost like that same quality as Baccarat Rouge 540 where the fragrance is very airy, very light, but you can still definitely smell the fragrance. So that's exactly what I'm getting with this one. And it's so feminine, so beautiful, so floral, so sweet. I really, really love this one. So this one is crazy in love. And then I also received Montal's Roses Musk which this one is definitely on the stronger side in my opinion. It's definitely super musky. It's very, very rose heavy, which I'm not the biggest rose person. It's definitely not my favorite note, but I will say that the way that they use rose in these fragrances is very beautiful. It's very sexy, very feminine. I think that they're really, really nice. This one, what I will say is that it is very similar DNA to Tense Cafe, to Rose's Vanille, which I believe those are from Mancera. And it also reminds me of my Maison Francis Kirk Dijon Gentle Fluidity Gold, but with more rose in it. And I will say that you definitely only need to do like two sprays of this fragrance because if you go crazy over spraying Rose's Musk, you are going to just fumigate wherever it is that you go. It is a very strong fragrance. I tested it out yesterday and I will say that I did about two, three sprays and at first I was not really feeling it. That's like being 1000% honest with you guys, just because it was a little bit strong. But then once that dry down came in and it kind of started like blending in with my skin, I fell in love. It is such a gorgeous feminine musky fragrance. It's gorgeous. I definitely am going to get to know it better so that I can update you guys on these fragrances. But right off the bat, I knew that these were going to be his for Valentine's Day fragrances, which is what I'm going to be talking Talking about and these two are definitely two fragrances that you should definitely check out for Valentine's Day if you're trying to feel feminine flirty sexy seductive just you want like a date with your boo and you want to smell super super good definitely one of these two would do the trick so aren't these gorgeous and the bottles are just so beautiful i don't have any bottles this bright pink like this at least i don't think i do i do have pink bottles but these are just so unique to me so those two are also new fragrances that i'm going to be playing with so next up we have another company that reached out to me and you guys this was also just such a shocker i was not expecting this so here is the package for this one and you guys i received a fragrance from commodity which they reached out and asked me if i wanted to try out commodity velvet personal so here is 
the fragrance and I did sample this you guys I sampled this in my video where I tried out all of the little samples from commodity and if I'm not mistaken I was not a fan of the velvet fragrances so when they emailed me I was a little worried I was like okay I might have to decline this one because I don't want to take a fragrance that I know does not work for me so I came back to my uh, filming room and I dug up the sample that I had of the velvet personal and I do remember not liking the velvet expressive I think it was just because it was too strong for me but I don't remember how I felt about the personal one so I went ahead and I sprayed it on my skin and I went up to my husband and my husband at first was like "Ooh, that's that's not a nice fragrance and I thought to myself yeah I'm not really a fan either and we kind of just kept on doing our thing when this fragrance dried on my skin again the dry down it was so beautiful he completely changed his mind he told me that smells so much better now that it's dried down and then I just kept on smelling and I was like okay yes I can deal with the opening because it doesn't last a long time the opening literally after like 10 minutes you start getting like the beautiful dry down it gets a little bit sweeter it gets a little bit just more up my alley when it first opens up it's very I would say kind of like I wouldn't say earthy but it does have notes in there that I'm just not used to so if you're not familiar with commodity fragrances they have different levels to each fragrance so they have personal expressive and i believe bold so personal is described as for me and the few i allow close so this lets you know that it's going to be like a skin scent it's going to be a little bit more personal hence the name personal and it's just going to be one that you can enjoy but not be like super loud and in everyone's faces i prefer a fragrance that just makes a bubble around me because I wear fragrances to enjoy them myself. If I get a compliment or two, that's always a plus. I always love that, but it's not what I'm looking for. Ever since I started YouTube, I've always said that I'm not the type of person who likes attention on me too much. Like if I walk into a place and everyone's eyes are on me, it's kind of like, oh my God, no, 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 no. So I like fragrances where I smell good. They're in my scent bubble. I can smell them because if I can't smell it, then that's just a big no-no for me. And I do like a beast mode fragrance every now and then, but it's just not my thing. So I'm happy that I was able to receive the personal one. So I am going to be doing an in-depth review of this fragrance if you would like once I wear it a few times, just so that I can give the fragrance more of a spotlight. Today is just kind of just showing you what I received. So here you get the card for Velvet and it comes in this packaging love the white bottle i think i prefer the white bottle over the black bottle and actually this is going to be the fragrance that i'm going to spray on top of the primer yeah when you first smell it it definitely has something that's oh, i'm starting to the more that i spray it the more i like it and you know what this reminds me of and the reason why it's so tricky for me it's all gonna make sense this to me is definitely a softer version of replicas by the fireplace I'm not sure if I made that connection last time and I did see it in Fragrantica. Some people mentioned it and it kind of clicked in my head afterwards. I was like, that's what that smells like. But it smells like Replica by the fireplace once Replica has dried down. It's not the same. Replica's is definitely stronger. It's definitely woodier and just way more intense. So if Replica by the fireplace was too much for you or you don't like waiting for the dry down and you don't want to sit there and go through like the whole like fireplace vibe, definitely give Commodity Velvet Personal a try. It does have like this woody vibe to it. It is like a dry fragrance. It's not, there's nothing to it that's like juicy or refreshing or anything like that. This is definitely more of like a drier scent. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't want to get too into it because I do want to come back to this one and talk a little bit more about it. I need to shut up because I keep, this literally turned into a review. So that is Commodity Velvet Personal. Next up you guys, this package right here, I screamed. Like I went crazy when they emailed me because if you have been watching my channel, I have been talking about this for a very long time. It's something that I use since like 2016, one of their products. So here is this package, you guys. I'm so, so excited. Do you see who this is from? L'Occitane. So here is the little 
card along with some products and here is what is inside. I'm so pumped and I'm so, so excited to use the products in here, but what do you spy that is inside of this package that I never shut up about? That is the shower oil. You guys know that I talk so much about the shower oil with you guys. I use this to shave my body, my legs, my underarms, just anything that I'm shaving because it is so gentle on the skin, it smells amazing even if you don't want to use it for shaving this smells so good it smells like almonds it's soft the smell is like very relaxing i've been using the shower oil for so many years and now i have two new ones so i'm just i'm stocked up and i'm so so excited but i did receive other products that i have never tried from the line i do also use their foot cream religiously i just ordered a new one because i ran out so i'm very very excited to try out all of these products in this package i did receive the divine cream so this is a face cream i believe this is what the face cream looks like I also received this. This is the Proactive Youth Skincare Enriched Emotion. Emotion. So this is good for pores, fine lines, and plumpness. These bottles are so beautiful. So here is this one. It's a beautiful purple bottle. I cannot wait to try these out because I've never tried these products. I also received an overnight reset oil and serum. So here is the packaging for this one. And then here is the serum. Super, super cute packaging. And then one last product that I got was their hand cream. So I have never tried their hand cream. I'm super excited. And if it's just as good as the foot cream, I'm going to love it as well. They come in this packaging like this. The foot cream looks like this too. And I wear the foot cream every single night. It's my favorite. So those were the products that I received from L'Occitane. Thank you so, so much. I'm so appreciative and grateful. You will be seeing more of these items throughout videos. I also wanted to show you guys this because I'm going to be talking about this very soon. This was a gift that I received from Twisted Lily for the holidays and I haven't done a review, but I really need to because this fragrance right here is beautiful and this is from itat libre de orange and this is frustration i know that i did show this in my instagram i showed the fragrance but i don't think i have talked about it on my channel i have had it since christmas time i just haven't had time to film a review but i'm catching up you guys look at this presentation that it comes in it literally has like its own little walk-in closet. <laughs> That's what I think of when I look at this. This vanilla, you guys, when I move, because I can't say where I'm going yet because it's not a thousand percent for sure, but I have found out where I'm going. And let's just say I'm going to get to experience all four seasons through and through. Like. I'm so pumped, I'm so pumped. So I know that this is going to be one that I'm going to love, or at least I hope so. But here is the beautiful bottle for this one. Gorgeous, and you guys, this is just such a stunning fragrance. It's a beautiful vanilla, and I swear smelling it through here, mm, it's so good, so, so good. So I'm definitely gonna be talking about that very soon. So excited to have that in my collection. And then the same day that I do the video on frustration, I have this entire little sample box, which I did show in my, I believe it was my gift guide for the holidays, but look at all of the samples that I have in here so we can sniff these together. I can let you guys know what I think about them in that video. There's so many in here. So I'm definitely gonna look at the notes and do a video trying all of these out. So I think that is it for today's video. I have a huge, no, 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 it's not. I wanted to show you guys this last fragrance, which I'm going to do a video dedicated for this fragrance. I got this myself, I paid for it myself. And this is Narciso Rodriguez Musk Noir Rose. Do you know how many reviews and videos and just TikToks and everything that has been popping up on this fragrance? And I've been dodging them on purpose because I saw so much that I was like, okay, I need to try this out myself. But I didn't wanna watch too many reviews because I didn't want my opinion to change. I did watch Erika Bubalu's video though on it and she convinced me to just go ahead and buy it. Like literally as soon as I watched her video, I was like, I'm just gonna place my order. <laughs> 
so it's here so i'm just showing it to you guys in this video but i'm definitely going to be filming a review for this fragrance the bottle is beautiful and i will tell you guys sneak peek is that i'm in love with it so i really really like it it's such a beautiful fragrance so that is another new fragrance in my collection and i'm going to be reviewing it and you're going to be seeing more of it on my channel so that brings me to the end of today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it thank you so so much for being here with me today comment down below if you own any of these fragrances or products and how you feel about them give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video Thank you.